Hello and welcome from Eastern Europe, my name is Colbert HD and this is part 2 of the ultimate top 20 games like Baldur's Gate list. But don't worry, if you never saw the first part there is no difference where to begin and I will definitely post a link to part 1 at the end of this video. Temple of Elemental Evil this is a classic RPG based upon a famous Greyhawk adventure and using D&D 3.5 rule set. Much like an Icewind Dale, it focuses on combat, but the RPG part is really there. Depending on your alignment or even your race, you will have very different quests and very different journey through the temple, where about 50% of the game will happen. That sounds kinda boring, but temple itself is really interesting and has some secrets you can find. This is my temple! This is why I come to find peace, dog. And before you play, I do recommend to download and use mod pack made by Circle of Eight, which corrects some bugs and adds some content to the game. It will really improve your experience. Dungeon Magazine has ranked Temple of Elemental Evil the fourth best tabletop Dungeons and Dragons game ever made. So PC version of that must really catch your attention. Sacred. Evil has reached the kingdom and heroes must rise to combat horrific beasts. Wow, such an original concept. It can't get any more classic than this. It's like saying such an unbelievable thing that there is an alcohol in vodka. I believe it, man. We'll believe it now, motherfucker. Here players can choose from eight heroic characters and solve hundreds of problems Kingdom of Ancaria has to offer. While game looks more like Diablo 2 clone and not Baldur's Gate type of a game, it is way deeper than this. An example, skill system is more interesting interesting. Unlike in Diablo skill 3, where all combat skills are tied to levels, here you can find skills when defeating champion monsters or even in chests. But if you level up a skill too quickly, its regeneration rate becomes too slow. It's a really cool design, but way cooler than this was game's price when I created this video. Take a look. It's a sale alright, but if you want a cheap, good, old school game, it's definitely the one you must keep your eyes on. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition Game is very beautiful, colorful and has nice visual special effects. A true eye candy, or should I say, a true eye vodka. Nevertheless, this is a rare thing among games like that because beauty is always a secondary thing in a game descended from a tabletop D&D RPGs where world is as beautiful as your imagination could draw it. I have erotic imaginings. Whoa, hold your horses, nothing like that. Here you can take on the role of a young source hunter and your job is to rid the world of those who use the foulest of magics. Embarking on what should have been a routine murder investigation, you found yourself in the middle of a plot that threatens to destroy the very fabric of time. I finally found the thing that has been destroying our time. What? I feel that in-game you're gonna encounter a bit different story, but nevertheless this game is beautiful and you my friend is also beautiful. And your mother is beautiful, especially when naked. Wait, what you just said? No, no, no. Divinity Original Sin 2 an impressive sequel for already impressive game. Those are not my words, those belong to PC Gamer itself, but I couldn't agree more. This game is truly flawless. People in Steam's comment section bravely announced this RPG as one of the best games of all time. Satisfying combat, choices with consequences, great quest writing, crazy good co-op mode, amazing story, original world, and high level of detail, polish. <laughs> I think that this game is a bit childish because of its colors, but you could never be more wrong. This is a serious game for adults. It has dark and gloomy world and sexual content where you can have accidental sex with the skeletons. The best thing is that the world is massive. When you after 60 hours of playtime realize that the act 1 you just finished is only a tutorial, you're gonna be amazed. Game will take you about 200 hours from start to finish, so it's really worth your money. Tower of Time. At last, something quite new and probably unheard. This is a story-rich dungeon crawler with innovative real-time combat that lets you pause or slow time. Keep in mind that this is not a slasher, but a tactical RPG where you have to enable your brain if you want to succeed. And I mean it, every battle is specially designed to be a tactical puzzle, so it might be a bit challenging. Also because of that game is really suitable for fans of this genre and not so friendly for new players. Tower of Time has about 50 
50 hours of gameplay, handcrafted levels and really nice story. Here you will also find thousands of pieces of loot and equipment. I was trying to find some bad reviews of the game so I could share not only good things but also what's wrong. But there were so little of those it was really hard to find. In example one guy was complaining about bad optimization and others said that the game is boring. I don't believe it. Judging from other reviews, game is really entertaining and cuts all the crap other games include to artificially lengthen the game. So this might be the unexpected game of your choice. Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Original Neverwinter Nights released in 2002 received an Enhanced Edition in 2018, which can be found on Steam. If you played this game before and somehow still have your save games, you can continue to play them with this new Enhanced Edition, which also has improved graphics where you can play this game with 4K resolution. Game will take 100 hours from you and probably way more if you play it with mods or with friends. Multiplayer function has been completely remastered. Of course, you probably do not have any friends. At least, you have none who gonna play Neverwinter Nights with you. So this function is as relevant for you as a bike for bike haters or a wine for vodka lover. I bought you a bottle of wine! Why you hate me so much? But game has some serious issues. Judging from the comments left on Steam, for some people it crashes or it doesn't start. Multiplayer has issues when you want to play with friends. Haha, <laughs> not an issue for you my friendless friend. And for some it looks really old. So before buying, read the comment section, be sure it's for you. Neverwinter Nights 2 The sequel was released in the year 2006, but thanks to Aurora toolset, fans are still creating new mods and maps, so the game is not dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's alive. <sighs> So if you managed to play this game long time ago, maybe now it's the time to relive the adventure with all new content fans have created over 13 years. Game itself, like the original game, offers about 100 hours of gameplay, but user created content adds about 10,000 hours. 10,000? Yes, my king, this is massive. It means that you can enjoy this game for years. Sadly that after all that time, game still has some bugs left. They don't ruin the game, but they are there. Don't worry, one or two patches created by the community will fix everything. Divine Divinity I bought this game for 49 euro cents on a sale on Steam and it's probably best 49 cents I ever spent. No, literally. For some like that in my country, you can't even buy cheapest herring. And I'm not even talking about delicious potato salad. So that was almost a steal. Game might look like it's another hack and slash RPG, but here you can pause the game anytime and drink that potion of vodka. I mean potion of health. Anyway, it's basically the same thing. Game will grant you about 100 hours of play time. So for me it's about 2 hours for 1 cent I spent on this game. Game also has excellent soundtrack made by Kirill Pokrovsky, a famous composer of Divinity series that has sadly passed away in the year 2015 but his legacy of awesome music keeps living on. This game also lets you drag and drop items around you. You can pick up a vase and find a key underneath or just go to a house, take all the stuff out and put in your own stuff and create your tiny little Eastern Europe in there. So you can have improvised base where you can return from your quests. One more important thing, game is almost free of bugs, so crashes are really rare. Wasteland 2 this is a post-apocalyptic retro-futuristic RPG which will put your RPG skills to test. Game feels like early Fallout game had a baby with Baldur's Gate and Mad Max. An abomination. No, no, in a good way. Game was indeed created by the producer of original Fallout, so the resemblance is not an accident. The abilities and skills in Wasteland 2 are extremely detailed. For example, you could choose to level up safe cracking or also lock picking. But if you come upon a digital lock, you're going to need a science related skills. And if you have none of those, you might be able to unlock the door anyway with some explosives or just brute force. It's up to you. Pillars of Eternity Last but definitely not least, 
You probably have heard about this game already. In a classic RPG world, pillars of eternity is like potatoes in a potato salad. Or like salt in herring. It's the main ingredient of games like that. So if you never tried to play this one, you just have to. Many people are saying that this game is the true spiritual successor of Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. He is the one. Game came to life after unbelievably successful Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, which raised more than 4 million dollars. Millions of dollars! Exactly! Game's story takes place in Yora, where a strange and scary phenomenon known as Hollowborn, meaning someone who's born without a soul, plagues the land. Scariest thing is that not only ginger people doesn't have a soul, you know, like in real life, but people with any hair color. Go on! <laughs> He's bald! Alright, if a man is bald, he might be safe, but we all know that there is still one more question to ask. Does he look like a bitch? After finishing the first part, grab second. There is nothing much to talk about, you just have to play this goodness by yourself. So now the list is over, but I realized that I probably could have done longer one. So here are few honorable mentions. Throne of Darkness, where you control group of samurai warriors traveling through fantasy world. Under Rail. A classic turn-based RPG where you live underground in a distant future. Beyond Divinity, a sequel of Divine Divinity where you try to lift a horrible curse. And keep an eye on a Black Gazer, a Kickstarter star of a games like Baldur's Gate, which will be released sometime this year. And that's it. If you watched both parts and you know more cool games like that, please tell me about them in the comment section. I'm taking more and more efforts into making these videos, so don't be surprised for a slow release rate and don't worry, there will be plenty more with more jokes for you to love and plenty of cool information for you to process. So I'll be very thankful if you subscribe. It will show me that you like my work and I'll be encouraged to make more quality content. You can also become my Patreon on Patreon, you will find the link below. Thank you and have a nice day.